So I'm Ronnie, <laughs> and that's Sam, Hannah, and Tina. And we all love bikes. And somehow that brought us together to Norway to explore the North Fjord by boat and see what mountain biking we could find there. So the first riding we did was in a place called Gloppen. It's the first day of riding our bikes. What are the views like? Amazing, stunning, beautiful. I didn't know anything about Norway in general from mountain biking, so my expectations were pretty low. Gloppen was beautiful, it was just breathtaking. This is Sam. I love dogs. She also loves bikes and cameras. And she's the queen of memes. <laughs> what are the key words you're looking for? Smoothie, lefse, lefse got. Lubricated left, good nature. Everything you want from a biscuit. <laughs> no beer. What about how are they? Trail snacks. Oh yeah. Biking exclusively. When we all kind of met on the boat for the first time, like we, we all got on so well straight from the beginning. We were all so stoked and so happy to be there. So the vibe and the, the energy was so posi positive. We had the same rhythm. Everybody was so tired in the morning. Sometimes I'm at the peak and other times I'm about to fall. Sometimes Hannah is wonderful. Hannah is so chill. She's so happy. She's always positive. She was our mom. <laughs> she cooked us eggs every morning on the boat. The fjords are this amazing, mystical place. These big mountain sides next to you. These gorgeous little Norwegian towns. The water keeps changing, so you start really far out by the sea. It's been really dark and you couldn't really see much. And so salty when you jump in. In one place it would be like really just completely crystal clear. The further in the fjord you travel, they're getting kind of glacier fed. <laughs> Money is this energy bomb. Oh my god, she's so creative. She comes across giddy and talkative and she's definitely the most outgoing. But she keeps the whole troop just running. So the weather turned a bit again. It's like it when we honest, baby. So being from Switzerland, of course Tina loves hiking. She convinced us to take a day off of the bikes to see the mountains by foot. Sometimes I'm at the peak and other times I'm If you spend about five minutes with her, you'll soon realise that she is so goofy and she will start dancing at any point and she no. laughs so much yeah. and she has she's just really funny. Tina Tina's a Swiss me, I think. Just randomly starts bursting out moves to like really loud music. We weren't hiking, we were dance hiking. And that kind of just set the tone for the whole trip. We went to Folven, slightly inland. And we stayed at the campground. And there were these cute little red huts which were just adorable with bunk beds in them. We rode this old farmer's trail, I think it was the 1700. They made a track in the mountain by using gunpowder. Because they use it to transport their cattle from one place to the next, but now they made it so you can walk it or bike it.
so fun following Molly. I love riding with someone like her because she makes me want to go faster. She pulls me, just following her over her lines. This really gnarly rock steppy thing in Norway, I would probably not have tried it. Instead of being scared, I was just inspired. The sky. We left our doubts and fears behind the best of times. Higher we climb. We pop into the next bit. It was like a series of what must have been like seven or eight jumps. Dropped my camera bag, sprinted up. I was like, yes, finally I can ride. <laughs> Riding with this group of girls has been super chill. We all are different kinds of riders, we ride at different speeds and we have different abilities, but at the same time, inspire one another to try new things and challenge ourselves. I was really impressed by the riding in Fulburn. It had everything. Rocks, roots and cute little mountain huts and cute sheep. Amazing, stunning views. No dogs. After a week of riding Norway's best new riding spots, we headed over the border of Sweden to Aura, a ski town with a bike park we had heard many good things about, and a token Swede to show us around. Where are we and what are we stressing about? Well, we're not sure if two people or four people are going to get on the bus. So we took the night bus from Strin to Trondheim. And uh, Tobias picked us up and brought us to Åre. There's like a million coffee shops. You can just chill and do laps in the bike park. And it's also Scandi. I was a bit afraid to make a fool out of myself in the beginning, but then Tina got super stoked on it. I felt like being a kid again and I wanted to do it again and again and again. We all want to improve and we want to help each other improve. Do it again, you can do it and you can do it faster. I think my, my riding got better and better during these two weeks. <laughs> Oh, I'm a gypsy. I'm 
now we've just matched perfectly. I could just be as I am, <laughs> as I act, as I talk. Like the age gap between us is over 10 years. We're from three different countries. Didn't really know each other prior to the trip. And we've just ended up clicking. <laughs> the best trip I've ever done in my life. <laughs>